Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are uh, going to discuss today about the polynomial and this is the second chapter and uh, I hope you will enjoy it. So, polynomial may, uh, in this chapter, uh, polynomial we will discuss what is polynomial and what are the type of polynomials and thereafter we will discuss today about the zeros of the polynomial, degree of the polynomial, etc. So, some basic information we will discuss today uh, about the polynomial. So, let me uh, start this topic uh, polynomial and uh, polynomial is what? So, polynomial, this is the topic polynomials. Polynomials, what is the literal meaning of polynomials? Polynomial means uh, these are made of two words that is poly plus nomials. Nomials, right? So, poly means many and uh, nomial means terms. So, a polynomial has many terms. So, literal meaning of polynomial uh, is an algebraic expression in which there are many terms. So, polynomial is, what is polynomial? Polynomial is an algebraic, algebraic expression, algebraic expression in a variable, variable in which there are many terms, many terms. If x be a variable, variable, then polynomial, then polynomial in x, polynomial in x is described by described by px px p stand stand for polynomial and x is the polynomial in x so the general polynomial equation the general polynomial equation polynomial equation can be written as px is equal to a naught x to the power n plus a1 x to the power n minus 1 plus a2 x to the power n minus 2 up to a n where x is variable as we had discussed but uh, a naught where a naught a1 a2 etc n are constant and x is a variable term variable in this polynomial in this polynomial so depending upon there are many many means what many is not specifically defined that how many it may be one two three four five six or even lakhs of terms so many terms polynomial is nothing else but has many terms here you have seen that there are many terms so many is not specific it can be one or more it can be one or more terms right now and terms one or more terms terms that is the two unlike unlike terms like terms can be added unlike terms are usually unlike unlike terms they are unlike terms right now so polynomial age an algebraic expression in which there are many terms so depending upon the, on the basis of terms polynomial can be described in several ways on basis of terms the following type of polynomials are on the basis of terms on the basis of terms polynomials are of following type following types 
right first one is monomials monomials what is that the polynomial which has only one terms the polynomial which has only one terms has only one term called monomials term called monomials monomials right for example 3x cube 5x square 7x even 9 etc these are polynomials and that can be described as monomials because there is only one term so uh, some people may think that 9 is not a monomials because it has no x here we can write 9x to the power 0 so that is why this is also a part of monomials constant is also a monomials independent constant is a monomials now uh, apart from monomials there is a another one that is called binomials 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 so binomials the polynomial which has the polynomial polynomials which has two term only two terms only called binomials binomials like uh, for example 3x square plus 5 2x plus 7 3x cube plus 9 etc all are binomials because there are two terms right thereafter third one is apart from binomial there is a trinomial trinomials and what is that trinomials the polynomial which has three terms only the polynomial which has three terms only the polynomial which has three terms only three terms called trinomials trinomials right for example 2x square plus 5x plus 7 3x cube plus 9x plus 11 5x square minus 8x minus 7 etc these are what called trinomials and thereafter the fourth one is called quadrinomials 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 the polynomial which has four terms the polynomials polynomials which has four terms four terms called quadrinomials right now called quadrinomials quadrinomials for example 2x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 7 etc or 4x4 minus 9x cube plus 7x square plus 8 like this so these are all quadrinomials because it has four terms i hope you got it so depending upon number of terms polynomials can be described in four ways monomials binomials trinomials and quaternomials right now in this polynomial you have seen that there is a power of x and in some polynomials there is a power 2 some polynomial there is a power 3 some polynomial power is 4 here and uh, so depending upon the power maximum power that is called degree so degree of polynomial is uh, what degree of polynomial let me describe this degree of polynomial and degree of polynomial is degree 
of polynomial polynomials degree of polynomials the highest <coughs> power that is exponent exponent power that is exponent of variable of a polynomial of a polynomial is called degree of polynomial degree of polynomial ठीक है for example uh, if i write here 3x cube plus 2x square minus 7x plus 8 is a polynomial if it is written like this is a polynomial of degree degree 3 similarly if i can write here another example px is equal to 2x4 plus 5x minus 9 is a polynomial polynomial of degree 4 degree 4 so px is equal to 3x minus 7 if i can write like this is a polynomial of polynomial of degree what is the maximum power degree 1 so depending upon degree the polynomial can be further categorized and divided and described in four ways on the basis of degree on the basis of degree polynomial are of following type following types on the basis of degree on the basis of degree polynomial are of following types what are those so first one is polynomial called linear polynomial linear polynomial polynomial what is that a polynomial of degree 1 polynomial of degree 1 is called degree 1 is called linear polynomial is called linear polynomial ठीक है, for example, p x is equal to three x plus seven. For example, p x is equal to three x plus seven. That is polynomial three x plus seven. What is the maximum degree of x? That is one. p x is equal to five x. That is also a polynomial. So degree of polynomial is one. The second one is quadratic polynomial. quadratic quadratic polynomial polynomial right so quadratic qua means two quadratic means order second order degree so quadratic second degree a polynomial of degree 2 polynomial of degree 2 degree 2 is called quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial right for example px is described as 3x square plus 5 or px is equal to 2x square minus 3x plus 1 or px is equal to 7x square etc all are quadratic polynomial now there are cubic polynomial the third one is third one is cubic cubic polynomial the polynomials of 
cubic polynomial. The polynomial of of degree 3 to degree 3 called cubic polynomial cubic polynomials for example px is 7x cube plus 9 px is equal to 2x cube minus 7x square plus 5x plus 11 like this or px is equal to 3x cube minus 7x plus 9. So, highest degree to be 3 must be 3, but number of terms can be 1 more or maximum 4. So, number of terms maximum can be 4, but highest power must be 3. Even a single term can be also described that is 2x cube. It is also a cubic polynomial. Moreover, the next one is, fourth one, <coughs> is biquadratic polynomial, biquadratic polynomial, polynomials, what is that? So, biquadratic polynomial is a, a polynomial of degree 4, a polynomial A polynomial of degree 4 degree 4 is called biquadratic polynomial biquadratic polynomials right so biquadratic polynomial Bicoded polynomials. For example, 3x4, say like this, degree 4, even a single term, say px is equal to 3x4 minus 1. px is equal to another example can be written as polynomial 2x4 minus 3x cube plus 5x square minus 9x plus 11, like this, or even px is equal to 3x4 minus x plus 1. So, number of terms can be any number. 2x4 minus 5x plus 7, etc. are all biquadratic polynomials. So, I hope you got it that what is polynomial, right? And polynomials are what type? Depending upon the number of terms, polynomial can be described as monomials, binomial, trinomial, quaternomial and depending upon the number of degrees um, polynomials can be described as linear, quadratic, cubic and biquadratic polynomials. There is one more polynomial called zero polynomial. Zero polynomial. Nomials. What is that? The polynomial in which the polynomial of degree 0, nomial of degree 0, degree 0, called 0 polynomial, called 0 polynomial, polynomial, that is, it has only constant term, it has only constant term, constant term. Right? For example, px is equal to 5, only constant term. Here, what we can maximum understood is 5x to the power 0. px is equal to 3x plus 2, but that is not, it is a linear polynomial. So, <coughs> degree must be 3 by 2. x degree must be uh, 0. So, these are only constant terms are called 0 polynomials. Zero polynomials and zero of the polynomials are two different things. Zero of the polynomials. What is zero of the polynomials? So, zero of polynomials. Let us write here. Zero of the polynomial. 
zero of the polynomial px if zero if px be any polynomial polynomial and k be any real number any real number such that P k is equal to zero, then k is called zero of polynomial, zero of polynomial p x, right? K is called zero of the polynomial. In literal sense, we can say the value of x, value of x for which polynomial px becomes for which the value of polynomial value of polynomial px becomes zero becomes zero is called zero of poly zero of polynomial okay so zero of polynomial right uh, zero of polynomial the value of x by which the px becomes zero by putting the value of x px complete expression becomes zero and therefore it is called zero of the polynomial for example if i have px is equal to x minus 1 is a polynomial if i put x is equal to 1 then it becomes zero so it will be zero if will be zero the value will be the value of px will be zero for x is equal to one and therefore x is equal to 1 is 0 of polynomial 0 of polynomial what px is equal to x minus 1 how can we obtain it so to find 0 of the polynomial to find 0 of the polynomial polynomial 0 of polynomial there are two methods two methods one algebraic method algebraic method and second graphical method graphical method so let me discuss one by one algebraic method and graphical method so in algebraic method how can you find uh, the root of the polynomial say this one is a px is equal to x minus one so to find zero of this polynomial to find zero of the polynomial polynomial put px is equal to zero and find the value of x and find the value of x x for example here px is equal to zero this employee x minus one is equal to zero this employee x is equal to one and that is zero of the polynomial is zero of polynomial zero of polynomial is zero of polynomial right similarly if there is a let us consider another example and we will find it for example suppose another polynomial is given like x square minus 3x plus 2 this is a quadratic polynomial so how can you find by algebraic method put p 
px is equal to 0 as we said so in this case what will happen x so this one is x square for that equal interval so that will be x square minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0 and this further can be written as x square minus 2x minus x plus 2 is equal to 0 so we can write x minus 2 by taking x common from these two and one if i would take common then x minus 2 will be there uh, since negative sign has been taken common so therefore inside bracket the sign will be changed and that will come x minus 2 and x minus 1 is equal to 0 so either x minus 2 is equal to 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0 and this employee x is equal to either 2 or x is equal to 1 these are two zeros of the polynomial these are so therefore px is equal to x square minus 3x minus 2 has two zeros two zeros two and one there are two zeros so you have uh, seen here that there uh, are two zeros in quadratic polynomial there is one zero in linear polynomial so clearly we can say that number of zeros depends on the number of degree so quadratic polynomial linear polynomial therefore we can say linear polynomial maximum can have can have maximum one zero linear polynomial can have maximum one zero one zero quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial can have maximum maximum two zero two zero right cubic polynomial cubic polynomial can have maximum three zero three zeros and that is a polynomial of degree n of degree n can have maximum n zeros right now maximum in zero this is what i want to say why i said maximums we have learned and you have seen here that poly linear polynomial has uh, only one zero quadratic polynomial has exactly two zero cubic polynomial has may have three zero but can it be less than one can it be less than two as well yes there is a possibility for example if i consider a quadratic polynomial x square plus one but there is no real value of x if you want to find it that uh, zero of the polynomial so for that you will put x is equal to px is equal to zero is it, it what we did earlier so in that case x square plus one is equal to zero but there is no value x square cannot be equal to minus one and therefore there is no real value of x which will bring them px zero so therefore there is no value of x no value of x which will turn px is equal to 0 and therefore there is no zeros so although this is a quadratic polynomial this is a quadratic polynomial but has no zero in that case no zero so maximum can have two zero but minimum may not have any zero that is also possible that is why here term i have written maximum maximum right now so this is what we have to find out the number of zeros on the basis of algebraic expression and uh, we can find one more example and then let us see uh, one more example like uh, 
px is equal to say px is equal to x cube minus 6x square plus x cube minus 6x square eleven x minus six like this. This is what an expression we have to find the number of zeros in this polynomial. Although this is a big question, but still you can find it. Since this is an algebraic polynomial, so uh, of degree three, and there is no specific method you have learned till now for degree three, so you can put by factor method. Factor method is what? That if I put any number k is equal to 0, then x minus k is a factor of the polynomial. For example, if I put x is equal to 1 here, then 1 plus 11 plus 1, 12 and minus 6 minus 6, 12. So, x minus 1 is a factor. So, clearly put x is equal to, this is a specific method, try to learn. Put x is equal to 1, then p1 become 1 q minus 6 into 1 square plus 11 into 1 minus 6 that is 1 minus 6 plus 11 minus 6 is equal to 0 and therefore x minus 1 is a factor of factor of polynomial polynomial px right the polynomial of px that is x q minus 6 x square plus 11x minus 6. So, x minus 1 is a factor and that therefore x minus 1 definitely can divide them. x minus 1 definitely can divide them. Right now? So, px is a factor. Now, if I divide by x minus 1, this expression what will come? So, px will be equal to x minus 1 if I divide, you can divide yourself right now. So, I am writing here x square that is x cube minus x square but we need minus 6x square. So, 5x more should be there and last term that is minus 6. So, if I could write here plus 6 then only it will be minus 6. So, this is what will come right now. If you divide by this expression x minus 1, you will get this is as quotient. Now, this further can be split into x minus 1 and uh, x minus 1. Uh, let me write here only. If you divide further it, x minus 1 and this further can be split as x minus 2 and x minus 3. Similarly, so, if px is equal to 0, this employee x is equal to 1 or 2 or 3. So, there are 3 zeros. 3 zeros will come. Here, I am just writing the division, how division takes place because many students are not able to divide it directly. Um, 11x minus 6. So, how can you divide it by x minus 1? So, multiply by x square, that will be x cube minus x square. As you know, the sign will change, so this will cancel, that will be minus 5x square plus 11x minus 6. So, you should go with minus 5x, that will be minus 5x square and minus minus plus 5x. So, if you again write here, the sign will change, minus, this will be cancelled and now this will be 6x minus 6 and if you multiply by plus 6, that will come out and this will be vanishes. So, similar like what I did here, that is a middle term split, you know middle term split. So, here x is equal to 1, x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 3, there are 3 zeros of this polynomial uh, of degree 3. So, at max 3 zeros, there can be minimum number of zeros than the number of degree, but cannot be maximum under any circumstances. So, in this lecture, you have learned that how algebraically we can find the zero of the polynomial. In next lecture, we will learn about, uh, after the break, we will learn about how uh, to find the zero of polynomial graphically. Okay, till then, bye-bye. God bless, take the break and we will be back after uh, sometimes 5-10 minutes in next lecture. Okay.